All right, Aries. Finally time to see what's going on with y'all for June. See what's happening with my Aries people for June 2019. Y'all know the deal. If you want information for my Facebook page, my Instagram, or my other YouTube channel where I do vlogs, chats, and live personal mini readings, all of that information is in the description. Just had some cards fly out. Oh, let's look at the first one that showed its face on the floor here, the world in the reverse. Uh, and there's the eight of wands in the reverse too. They kind of feel like they belong together. Kind of feel like they belong together. Unfinished business, lingering between you and somebody else in which there is very little to no communication possibly. Could have been blocked all together, but we shall see what goes on with this. Let's get four shuffles universe. Here's one. Two, three, and four for my Aries people. For my Aries people. Aries, Aries. June 2019. Mm, overall, the hangman in the reverse. I got an idea that this is something you're probably tired of waiting on. Okay, something possibly ended in the past, you know, in which you feel like the chapter is not closed out. You know, there's still, it just, there's no closure, you know, and right now I'm not seeing any communication, maybe a little bit, but it looks like communication could very well have been blocked altogether. All right. So I kind of feel like the way people are seeing you though, is the wheel of fortune in the upright. Like it may be a good thing, whether you realize it or not, I think people are noticing that this is a good thing. All right. The karmic cycle is wrapping up and coming to a completion. If you choose to go along with it, Aries, and not fight it like y'all love to do, y'all love to fight new cycles. You know, you want the cycle to go your way and it doesn't. Right here, though, I am kind of seeing that you're probably getting tired of doing that, though, with that hangman in the reverse being the influencing energy here. All right, but on the inside, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is how you're feeling on the inside. Very, very sure of yourself. Not wanting to move, not wanting to budge, not wanting, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of like that firm, planted, this is this is how it is. It's my way or the highway. I'm not, I'm not going out of my way for you. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? That kind of energy right there is how you're feeling on the inside right here. Okay. Emotionally closed off to whoever you're dealing with here. Not interested in manifesting. Either that or you... I don't know. Some of you may kind of want to manifest something here with this individual. Possibly. But I, I don't really feel like you're showing it. Okay? Not really showing it. Magician in the reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. Kind of tells me... ah, There is a lot of love there, but... I don't know if you trust your own emotions here. So you're just kind of closing them off and keeping them to yourself. But this is the way you're coming off is the nine of pentacles. Very, very, very independent. And that's what's just like radiating off of you. And I think the person you're dealing with kind of gets that there. <clears throat> okay. They do feel like somebody abandoned, somebody abandoned the situation right here. Could have been you or them, but I feel like they feel abandoned by you. <clears throat> and they're holding, holding themselves back from coming together with you. Could be a Leo that you're dealing with, possibly, or a water sign. But let's see if we can dig a little deeper into this right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're sick of waiting on this. Like I said, with that hangman in the reverse, you also have the seven of pentacles reversed right here. I think I think hanging around and waiting on this to. It's almost like I feel like you were waiting around, wanting wanting either the situation to work itself out for you or for the other, whoever you're dealing with here to do it, to do it themselves, you know? So, uh, so you didn't have to, <laughs> that's what I'm saying right here. Cause it looks like you were waiting for quite some time and getting really, really restless, really restless. And now you're, you're just, you're just tired of waiting on it, tired of waiting on it. But the person you're dealing with, ah, it could be a water sign possibly doesn't have to be, but they're pretty much, Patrang, yeah, yeah, they got the chariot in the reverse, could be a cancer possibly, but 
I kind of feel like they're coming off to you the same way you're coming off to them. All right. Because you're kind of you're kind of blasting forth this nine of pentacles energy. If I could if I could hold on to my cards here, I keep dropping them. Well, they're blasting forth this nine of cups energy. So y'all are both kind of showing each other this independent, <clears throat> you know, like I don't need you. Well, I don't need you either. Well, I don't need you either. Type of energy. But I'm something feels a little funny about this here. Something feels a little bit funny on your on your end right here. This is what feels kind of funny. Like, I'm not buying it coming from you. I'm also not buying it coming from the person you're dealing with because of this energy. These two right here are giving both of y'all away, cross watchers and Aries. You, the cross watcher feels abandoned, you know, and is not very happy with, with whatever the situation is. And Aries, you're very, very restless and nervous about this. Okay, but y'all aren't showing that to each other. It's kind of like a mirror image type of energy. So the person you're dealing with, I feel like, <clears throat> kind of came to their senses about this and they're they're not going to take a new leap of faith with you if you're coming across like this. All right? And the same goes the other way around. I don't really feel like you're going to come together with them or take any kind of new leap of faith or try to manifest. You're not going to try to manifest anything with this individual if they're coming across like this. Hmm. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. It's not that dramatic. <coughs> Excuse me. But let's peep out the person that you're dealing with. Let's look at the person, people, and or situation having the biggest influence on Aries reading. Oh, did one just flip out? It went to. It went to go flip itself out there. Mm, the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, they got it too. They got it too. Let's see. I'm gonna pull a few more cards to see how that plays out. But let's let's just see what we got. Let's see what what's, what's that all about there. What's that all about there? Let's get three more shuffles here. Ooh, I just saw the Six of Swords. Three more shuffles. There's one, two, three, four, five, and three. Well, overall right here, the five of wands, five of wands. Now you have both or They have, I'm sorry. It's not you. They have both the tower and the death card, both in the upright. So I don't see this five of wands as wanting to come out of conflict just because of that tower and that death card. I see it as being, I'm tired of the conflict. I'm not doing it anymore. You know, I'm tired of arguing with you. I'm tired of, you know, I'm hopping off of this karmic wheel. You know, you have it too. You have it too. But I kind of feel like the person you're dealing with is more aware of it than you are. Simply because of that world in the reverse that you had. Not a bad thing. But I kind of feel like this individual is thinking, there's no way I'm going to be able to grow as an individual if I allow this. Whatever this... It's just got to stop. It's got to stop. Got to go. All right. Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with or a Scorpio. I have every sign on the table here, though. I don't have any. Yeah, I do have water. I'm sorry. So then with the death card, like I said, this is my only hope for victory and success is if I let this come to an end. I want an equal give and take situation right here, and it's just not happening. So right now, I feel like they're really working on getting their, their you know, Staying balanced. A little bit difficult, though. Queen of Cups in the upright, Queen of Swords in the reverse. They still got a bit of a sharp tongue. You know, kind of a bad attitude when, when, when you all talk. And that could be what leads to the arguments. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? We're not here to point fingers. I'm just saying that, uh, yeah, I, I just, what I'm getting out of this right here is I just can't keep fighting and arguing. Can't keep fighting and arguing. Somebody here, I kind of feel like, there's a lot of distrust in here with the Seven of Swords energy. A lot of distrust. 
They distrust you, you distrust the, I don't really trust each other. And that's probably what causes the vast majority of the bad attitude, you know, and, and, hmm. Well, let's see if anything new is coming in for you. Anything new coming in for my Aries people. Oh, oh, what was that? Ah, look what just flipped out. Ace of Cups. Ooh, what's that all about? Got some new love coming? Got some new love coming in here. Ah, let's get four shuffles. Here's one, two, three, and four. Whoa, and the fool just flipped out. The fool. Hmm. I wonder if that five of pentacles reverse belongs there too. Let's get one more shuffle here. Kind of feel like you or somebody else wants to come out of being left out in the cold. Could have been something from someone from the past, possibly. Somebody wants to take a new leap of faith here. Start something new. Come out of being left out in the cold. All right. Mm, yep. So whoever this is, or whatever is going on right here. Yeah, see? Now, with that Queen of Swords reversed energy right there, right next to the Page of Swords reversed, could be an air sign that you're dealing with right here, but I kind of feel like either you, somebody here is just sitting around with prying eyes and just kind of stalking and not really saying anything is what I'm definitely seeing right here, but not putting in the work, not putting in the work and taking any action just yet, all right? This door's open. There's a new door opening for you here. A new door opening for you for something new. I kind of feel like it's somebody from the past simply because of this, all right? Because this is the card of being abandoned and left out in the cold and it's in the reverse. So this may have been uh, somebody that you abandoned or somebody that abandoned you that wants to Somebody wants to like reconcile. Hmm. Hmm. Now with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, the way I'm feeling, just because of how this came out in the spread right here, is that somebody wants to finally open up and show how they feel with the Ace of Wands in the upright. All right. Somebody's finally ready to open up because the Queen of Wands, the thing about her is she's a performer. She is a performer. She has an inner, uh, an image to uphold. And regardless of how she feels, she does not show it. She sticks to her guns and maintains her passion and puts her emotions aside. So I definitely feel like somebody wants to open up. You want to open up or somebody wants to here? Somebody wants to open up, talk about how they feel. And possibly start something new. Well, let's see what's the most likely outcome of that. What timelines is Aries headed towards? What timelines is Aries headed towards in regards to this? Can't make that up, dude. Can't make that up. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Looks like there's a pretty good chance here. Pretty good chance that you could go for it or they could go for it. Whoever initiates this right here, it looks like it's, for the most part, gonna the offer is going to be taken up. All right, let's get four shuffles here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and four. Ooh, hang on. Let's see what that was all about. Way too many cards. But the four of wands in the reverse. Four of wands in the reverse. Eight of cups in the reverse. Okay. And, oh, look. This feels like that it belongs here. Maybe these do belong here. Every single one of these feels right. Damn. Whoa. Every, that never happens, y'all. Never happens. Usually if I drop that many cards out, it's like, nah, nah. But every single one of these feels right. Yep, somebody's coming back around. Or oh, you're coming back around to somebody here. Hmm. Wow. 
Okay. Yep. Like I said, the most likely outcome looks like <clears throat> the Ace of Cups. Looks like it is going to be started up. And then you got the Ace of Wands right over here, too. Look at this. Bang. Again, I feel like it's something from the past. Somebody you already know. All right. Because you have the Six of Swords reversed and the Ace of Cups reversed. Both cards of somebody coming back around. Somebody coming back or somebody wants to let their guard down. Like I said, I feel like it's somebody from the past because they're Five of Pentacles reversed, Six of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. All right. I don't really see you opening up all the way right away. I really don't. And like I said, this right here is something you're probably going to sit and wait and contemplate. Probably going to still keep sitting around and waiting and contemplating. All right. But like I said, Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. I don't see you opening up right away, though. You may let your guard down with that nine of, uh, bleh, nine of wands reverse there. Uh, but I still kind of see you keeping yourself a little bit emotionally like over there. Like I said, I, I don't really feel like you trust a whole lot of people. And this is something I feel like as you very, very nervous and imbalanced could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with right here. Well, damn. <clears throat> what advice do we have? Advice. What advice do we have for my Aries people for the month of June? What advice do we have for my Aries people for the month of June? Nah, June, nah, June, nah. Mm. Keep your guard up. Keep your guard up. Don't let your guard down just yet. Let's get four shuffles. There's one, two, three. And four. Mm -hmm. All right. Page of Wands reverse, Page of Swords in the reverse. Don't open up communication, okay? Let the communication be opened up to you. You don't need to start anything. You don't need to put in any work on this. Uh, but you, I do feel like you need to take it pretty seriously, though. I do feel like you need to take it pretty seriously. But don't you don't need to initiate anything. All right? Just keep your guard up and wait until it comes in to you. But for right now, don't try to work on this. Don't try to start anything new. Just enjoy yourself. Let it go and do your own thing. Okay? Is what I'm getting out of this right here. So it's one of those sit and wait and let it come to you type of things. If that makes any sense. I do think you need to work on taking things a little bit more seriously, though. But yeah, keep your guard up and don't try to, to like like work really really hard to make this happen. You're not going to need to. Okay. So good dealio, good dealio, Emilio. I hope that uh hope that reading resonated with you. Hope it gave you the clarity and guidance that you need. We're going to see how things play out with the dailies and weeklies and midweeks and weekend forecasts and all that good stuff. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and head out of here, okay? Appreciate you all for tuning in. Have a good one.